everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very well so this month i am kickstarting my sunday haul videos again so it may feel a little bit like deja vu but i really enjoyed those like two months in the summer where i basically shared haul videos every sunday i thought that was a really nice way to share new content with you and i feel like it was something that you enjoyed watching as well so do let me know in the comments down below whether this is something you are keen on seeing from me or if you think i should do something else i am always open to hearing your thoughts and suggestions so do let me know down below but for those of you who may be new or are not yet familiar basically on every sunday i will be uploading a new haul video from some sort of high street retailer so just oh, anything I've done Topshop, ASOS, New Look just like loads of different brands today we have H&M which is a brand I haven't yet done a haul for actually I don't think ever to be completely honest I think this is my first H&M haul ever so that's quite exciting i for one am very excited about it i feel like i got some really good gems in these videos i like to try on the pieces beforehand and i do film some cutaways but i do also feel like i need to let you know that i don't have the most space like i don't have a lot of room to show you everything so i do just film cutaways sort of in this area so it does it's like it's a little bit hard to show you like full outfits and things like that but i hope you do sort of understand and hopefully it's still okay but if you always want to see like outfits and how i actually style and wear things like day to day then my instagram is the best place to be i share outfits daily sometimes twice daily like basically i am on there a lot so if you want to see what i'm wearing and what i get up to and things like that then instagram is the place to be i am just at pixo i will leave my handle linked on screen and i will also leave it down below so you can just click over and follow me on instagram if you would like if you are new i would really love to have you as a subscriber have you part of my little channel so if you're not yet subscribed then it would be amazing if you did click that subscribe gen that subscribe button and joined me on my channel. I feel like I'm speaking so fast and trying to get so much through that my words are getting completely jumbled up, but hopefully you know what I'm saying. And now I think it's time we get started. I know that in the past, H&M has been sort of one of those brands that is notorious for having awful like shipping and just taking really long, but my order actually came fairly quickly. Like I'm pleasantly surprised with it. I didn't really find any issues. However, look at how ridiculous this is what <laughs> i don't think i've ever received such a massive box like this one and um, honestly if i need to return anything i don't know how i'm gonna like lug this massive box to the post office but th that's something to worry about later but yeah it's a massive box there is quite a lot in this order and as always i'm not keeping every single thing that i share with you the whole idea for me doing these videos is basically showing what i sort of place in an order like what i buy in an order and then sort of leaving it up to me and up to you to decide what you think i should keep and what you think i should return like it's sort of like we're all going into the changing rooms as pals and I'm like showing you the clothes and you're telling me whether to keep or return. H&M is just one of those places that I go to for knitwear. I absolutely adore the like autumn winter months when all their knitwear starts coming through because I am a big knitwear lover. I feel like H&M does some of the best sort of basics, really like simple pieces, easy to wear, easy to style. And so I just bought a lot of knitwear. So starting off with a black jumper, which you probably can't see like too much of, like it's got some really nice detailing and things hopefully in the cutaways you'll be able to see a little bit better and um, but i just love this we've got almost like balloon sleeves going on which i think is very nice i am loving the kind of oversized sleeves at the moment i think they're really really beautiful and i just really like this it's quite lightweight it's not fitted or anything it's somewhat it's oversized i got my usual size i got size small i know some people like sizing up in jumpers but i don't i tend to stick to my size because i feel like they are usually like oversized enough for my liking so fairly happy with it let me just make sure yeah i got this in a size small which i would assume would be like a uk 8 to 10 i love it i think this is so beautiful i did get the exact same in another color though that's what i've done a lot of here actually i've got the same thing but in different colors so i need to decide because i don't really know if i want two of like the exact same but i do love this i do love an all black outfit in the winter just generally speaking when i film i typically wear black tops as well because i find they work the best with my lighting like they don't tend to change colors too much apart from when I hold up way too much black and I've got a white background so it does go this bit crazy but generally speaking I mean I think this is really quite nice as I ordered everything online the tags don't actually have the pricing on them which I know can be quite frustrating but as always I will link everything in the description box down below so you just need to click show more and then I'll have listed all of the items and if they come in different colors I'll also list all the different colors and yeah obviously then you'll see sizing but I can't let you know because I don't know off the top of my head and the tags don't 
don't say. And like I said, I got that jumper in a different colour, and the other colour was this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful green. And, oh my god, I'm obsessed. Hopefully with this one you can see the detailing a little bit better around the sides. I just think it's so beautiful. And this shade of green, I don't think I've seen anything like it. It's just so beautiful. I'm really enjoying green at the moment, actually, which is quite strange, because I wouldn't say green is necessarily my colour, or a colour that I gravitate towards, but there is just so much on the high street right now, like green jumpers, lots of like green florals and things like that. But this colour in particular, I love. Again, we've got a tighter sleeve and then into a balloon sleeve. I really don't know what this is called, but it's it's nice because it just stays in place. So you'll stay nice and cozy throughout the day. You won't have sort of your sleeves like running up as you put up your hands. But I just, oh, I love this. I love this colour. I think it's so beautiful. I actually love how pretty the detailing is on this jumper in this colour. I feel like you can see just the thickness of the collar, the detailing in the knit, and oh, it's just so beautiful. I really do love this. I think it's very beautiful, and the colour is just insane. Oh, on to a couple of disappointing ones, actually. I wanted to pick up just a simple black belt with like gold hardware. I didn't want anything too fancy. I've got a couple of the ones sort of like the Gucci-esque belts, and sometimes I think they're a bit too much. I just wanted something plain and simple. So I picked up just this belt, which is, uh, premium quality, genuine leather, yeah, that's it. I got it in a size extra small, but it's too big, annoyingly. I wear all my jeans, all my skirts, like mostly all of my bottoms are high-waisted, so I wanted a belt that would cinch in at my waist, and this is just a little bit too big. It does definitely need like an extra hole in there. I just don't know if I really want to put in another hole, like, because then I'm spending money sort of getting that done. So then I also got this one, which again, I thought was very pretty. This one's actually square, and I did really like this one, and I think they're quite small as well. Well, so I won't have any issues of them not fitting in certain, again, what are they called? Like loopholes, like jean loopholes. Sometimes I get belts that are too thick and then they don't fit and then that's really annoying. I do like the both of them. They are both simple, but as I said, did I get this one an extra small? Yeah, this was also an extra small and they're just both a little bit too big, but inexpensive. They're only like a fiver, I think. Like I said, I don't know if I like them enough to then go and spend like an extra couple of pounds getting a new hole put in. Like, I'm just not sure. Oh, and then... This was def... Oh, I don't want to say out of my comfort zone because it's leopard print and I am honestly the biggest fan of leopard print you've probably ever met. But equally, I don't know if I've taken it a bit too far with these. But you will have seen like a snippet of these with the cutaways from the belts. But I saw these and I've been seeing quite a few of leopard print bottoms actually. And I was like, oh, I do, I do like that. You know, there's something about that. It's just one of those things, you know, when you look at something and you're like, oh no, that's not for me. But then it's sort of, it's like either playing on your, on your mind or you keep going back to it and keep being like, oh, like, mm, I wonder what I think about that. And that's exactly what happened with these. So these are actually part of the H&M jeggings. Re uh, the H&M Jeggings range. They are high-waisted, and I got these in a waist 25 and length 30. These fit absolutely fine. Like, sizing-wise, I think they're really, really great, and oh my gosh, I don't think I have ever tried on, like, jeggings or, like, trousers or whatever you want to call these as comfortable as these. They just, oh, they were just so comfortable. I could have worn them all day happily. I just don't know about this, about this print. Like, what do you think? Can I really get away with it? I was trying to think of ideas of how I style this, and I think I would dress it down, like, majorly, like, just black ankle boots and, like, a black jumper or something like that. I feel like that's how I would style it, but equally, I'm still, like, I'm just still unsure like would I really go out in leopard print trousers I don't know is that going too far I don't know so I'm undecided about it you know but I did I tried them on and I was pleasantly surprised and as I said they are just so comfortable that if I don't keep them in this print I'll probably just buy another pair of these because they are amazing like so 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 comfy but I don't know let me know what you think do you think I've gone too far with loving leopard print or do you think that these are nice which then leads me on to another pair of bottoms these are sort of an off-white color and I really I kind of want to steer clear well not steer clear but move further away from wearing like all black outfits I feel like that's such a fail safe come autumn winter to just sort of go for dark colors all the time and I kind of want to still have a little bit of like a light wardrobe if that makes any sense but I thought going for something like a lighter wash pair of trousers could be really nice these are their vintage slim ankle high waist denim and I love them I think they are amazing however size wise 
these you could probably tell in the cutaways but oh my gosh i was bound to lose any of those buttons at any moment they were pulling so much and i went to show my mom and i was like mom do you think i'll get away with these like do you think the jean will stretch do you think it will work and she, she was just like no that that's not that's not going to happen but i love these they're so pretty they're such a nice fit as well on the leg they're not too baggy around the knee i hate when that happens i hate having jeans that ends up going baggy on the knees it's like one of my pet peeves but i thought these were beautiful i think they'll look amazing with like leopard print like leopard print boots and just like nice casual jumpers i think they'll be really nice and just just different you know something different from like black denim or blue denim i thought these were really nice i got these in a waist 25 they must be leg 30 although they don't say they just say waist 25 and sadly they are a bit too small but i think i'm gonna size up for 26 in these because i do really love the fit of them and i just like the idea of having a light wash denim on to another jumper that i got in two colors i've just got a lot of knitwear in this haul i have said that but i really did so it's just this little high neck top or jumper from H&M I feel like I get into a trance where I'm automatically being like from blah 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 but everything in this haul is from H&M but yeah I love this I love high necks I love a good roll neck come autumn winter I am I am that girl who is always wearing a roll neck or a high neck so I picked up this they had quite a lot of colors actually but not all of the colors were available in a small which was really annoying so I just bought the colors that were available in my size so I got this dark grey but you know what I'm not gonna lie I don't love it that much and because I got two different colours I feel like I'll probably be returning this one like it's really nice but I don't really need a dark grey jumper and I don't think dark grey would necessarily be my colour of choice I guess I don't know I've got nothing against grey but I just feel like a dark grey in particular I think I'd probably rather wear black which I know probably doesn't make sense but I don't know in my head it does but I do like this they are very pretty and the only reason I would say I'm probably going to be returning this one is just because I've got it in another colour and the other colour is this brown now I know again quite an unusual colour but they had a nice light cream colour but sadly it was out of stock so I went for this one which was like the shade darker and I think this will be quite nice actually I think it will still look nice with a lot of leopard print in my wardrobe it will just look nice with my gold jewelry as, as well like contrasted with my oh, necklaces like I usually do like layers just over the top I think it will look really pretty and, and yeah I just thought this was quite a nice way to add sort of the tan brown colors into my wardrobe so I think out of the two of those I would probably be more inclined to keep this one but I do also wish that they had the lighter cream because I think that one would have been perfect ah now here we have another one I'm not quite sure of so it's just a little white or probably like cream off-white cable knit design jumper it's slightly cropped compared to the other jumpers i wouldn't say it's a cropped jumper like it's not going to show your belly button or anything like that but it sort of cuts off where your jeans start so it doesn't necessarily go lower or any more oversized than um in comparison to usual type of jumpers you'll see in the cutaway what i'm trying to explain hopefully but i do really like this we've got a bit oversized like you can tell it's like quite boxy it's got quite a boxy fit the sleeves again are no these are actually normal these are normal kind of sleeves but the only thing is that this is kind of a fisherman knit and here in the cable knit it's like got holes not holes but you know it's a cable knit i don't know how i'm explaining this but i hope you sort of get what i'm trying to say basically it's got a couple of like holes and stuff and i tried this on over this top actually so you can see that through and i just think that normally i wouldn't wear this so i don't know am i going to wear like a white top underneath or am i going to wear like a nude colored top underneath i'm just not quite sure what i would wear under this to sort of stay warm because if i were to wear this with nothing underneath i would be cold so i'm unsure i do like the way it fits though i like the way it sit sits on my body i feel like it gives me a really nice shape and it gives that oversized jumper feel but i'm just not sure in terms of the sort of holiness of it like is that is that going to be an issue come winter am i going to be too cold in this like i'm just i'm not sure and then i also decided that i absolutely needed a faux leather skirt <laughs> I don't know why, I feel like I saw a lot of, I don't know if I saw a lot of this, I just decided I needed one. I thought that with jumpers tucked in and stuff, it would be quite a nice transitional piece, or even with tights and boots, I know there's this whole thing like, do we do tights, do we not do tights? A like pleather look kind of skirt would look really nice with just black boots, black tights, and a big chunky knit. So I had my eye on a few and I quite liked this one. I don't love the belt on it because 
silver hardware I'm not that into silver and I don't really like mixing hardwares if that makes sense so I wasn't too sure about what to decide I do like that this has loopholes anyway or belt holes because I feel like I can wear my own belt with this if I want to and I feel like this fits quite nicely it's exactly what I was after like I said the way I want to style it is quite autumnal and I feel like when you're going for a skirt a pleather or leather look skirt always looks really nice in autumn winter if you're into silver you've got the belt with it if you're not into silver you can always switch it out which is perfect and last but by no means least we have the most color from this haul and it's this amazing red it's almost like an orangey red this reminds me a lot of uh max lady danger lipstick i was actually gonna wear that today that's why it reminded me but instead i'm wearing max ruby woo on my lips if you are wondering but yeah i feel like this color is just so nice it's so vibrant i feel like when you are wearing a color particularly like this like red is such a nice color to wear autumn winter i find red to actually be quite cozy and quite a nice one when it comes to knitwear we have a huge like roll neck it just oh, doesn't this just look like the coziest thing honestly it was so cozy when i was wearing it it was amazing i think the sleeves are well they have this weird kind of bat wing shape i don't know if you can see but it goes into rather than being a balloon it's more of a bat wing and i always find that those on me aren't necessarily the most flattering i don't know why but i always feel like i end up with like an extra flap that just looks a bit funny but i do really love this i love how cozy it looks i adore the color i think it's absolutely beautiful i have also just realized that i haven't been saying the sizes of everything which is frustrating but i will leave them in the description box with like the um, links and stuff but yeah this was a size small i think all of the jumpers were a size small anyway it's a size small potentially a little bit like still too oversized compared to what i want but oh my god when i wore this oh it was just the coziest thing and there's talks that our winter is going to be one of the coldest winters in a really really long time so i feel like i'm probably going to need all of the oversized big chunky knits so i can just pile on the thermals underneath and there we have it that's everything i picked up from h&m so as you can see a lot of knitwear a lot of jumpers i feel like that's what the majority of my hauls are going to consist of it's just going to be a whole lot of knitwear a whole lot of jumpers so hopefully you are as excited as i am for knitwear season and as excited as i am for all of the jumpers so as always let me know in the comments down below what you think i should keep and what you think i should return let me know what you think looked nice what you think didn't look that nice or any like styling tips or things like that do let me know in the comments down below i absolutely love reading and replying to your comments so i really appreciate it when you take the time to drop me a comment don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here or if you are not yet subscribed it would mean the absolute world thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and also thumbs up for more hauls hopefully a new haul video will be with you every sunday so you can have all of your hauls for your heart's content you can be happy as larry watching all of my autumn hauls and yeah thumbs up <laughs> in the meantime i will see you on monday with a new video which will either be something fashion beauty or lifestyle related so do check back for that as well or subscribe so that you're no notified and i will see you all then bye